it's just video to show that I got the electronics box cleaned up, trimmed out, got the cover made for it. Turned out pretty good. I used a plexiglass for a clear cover. I wanted to keep the power button inside also, so I just punched a little round hole there to where I could put my finger in and turn it on and off. Okay, so you can see this is the interface diagram of how to connect your uh, PlasmaArc machine to your Proma torch height controller module. Really, there's only two circuits you have to make here. Um, one is the uh, plasma start switch. The other is the um, voltage divider for monitoring um, voltage or arc voltage. Now, my machine is the old uh, Hypertherm PowerMax 900, so it does not have the control board in there. So I'm tapping in essentially the way they show you here in the diagram. I'm connecting to the back side of uh, this coil as recommended, rather than going here. They say this is acceptable, but this is the preferred. So that's where I made my connection. Let's go over to the PlasmaArc and I'll, I'll show you that uh, those two connections. It's a little tight in there and kind of hard to trace the wires out, but if you just take a look, you can see them. Here's the one coming in from the material clamp. And on the back side, if you look at those two larger white wires, those are the ones coming in from the torch. And they come over to this coil. So then if you follow those leads on over to the other side of the machine, they both come up to these two big um, copper bars, uh, electrical bars. Um, so I just made my arc voltage connection right here on these two. Now you have to be mindful of which one's on the positive, which one's on the negative, and just follow the diagram and, and trace out uh, which one comes from the torch and which one um, comes from the material clamp. And then on the switch, you can see these two purple wires coming in right here. Those are the ones I brought in. And actually it's kind of ironic. I, I used purple wire too. The, the switch coming from the torch was purple wires, so I just tapped into those. Um, I didn't want to cut the wires, so I just stripped some insulation, soldered my wires onto them, and then just covered them with a little bit of black tape, and then I didn't have to cut the connection. So anyway, I bring those four wires. Those are my two circuits. Just brought them right out through the grate of the front of the plasma, so I didn't have to drill any holes, and then uh, connected them to the controller. Of course, that's upside down, but uh, there you go. Okay, so in efforts to be as non-invasive as possible to my machine, as I showed you, I brought the wires just right out through the grate there, put them in some convoluted tubing. I 3D printed a little carrier for the controller, and I just set it in place like that. It just, just slipped in. It works good. It'll stay there just fine. And then I just make the connection to my machine. So there you have it, PowerMax 900 interfaced uh, torch height controller. Um, I elected to go this route uh, rather than buying the control board for this machine. You can get one, but they're about $300, and actually this interface was pretty simple, so that's the way I went. Thanks for watching.